Okay, so this is how, this is a video of how to show you how I make uh, my little stars. Okay, you're gonna need some nanofill. Okay, sorry, I haven't done a video in a long time. So 0.5. Uh, you're gonna need like uh, five five meters or so. I've chosen two different colors of beads. Okay, so I can uh, delica, so you'll see exactly how I connect all the parts. This is a 14 millimeter uh, plastic pearl. It's Chinese pearl. It's just to make sure that the center of the star stays uh, strong and it doesn't fold on itself. Hold on, I'll show you. I have one moment. Okay. Okay, one second, one second, one second. Okay, these are these stars are from my uh, Christmas decorations. So once you press inside, it's very strong and it's gonna stay like this for a long time. Uh, I've bought these pearls from China. They come up until I think 2.5 centimeters, like 25, I think. But they're really good. I'm using a size 11. Oh goodness, <laughs> a size 11 beading needle. I use a tulip, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, so I don't like, um, I'm going to say it now, I don't like to use a lot of thread, like closing them and putting them and putting a new thread all the time. So I just keep going round and round until I finish all my thread. I'll show you how it is. Okay, so let's put some blue colors and some silver color. Okay, so I think you already know how to start the first piece. Okay, oh, sorry, you're gonna start. Make if you know how to make, make six rounds. Six rounds, okay, six rounds, one piece, and I'll come back in just a second. On second thought, I'll show you from the beginning. Okay, so let's make this a little bit closer so you can actually see better, better, better. Okay, so we start with our four beads, our four delicas. I think it works better with delica than with other colors, with other beads. I haven't tried anything else, so. Okay, and now. Next, again, two colors. I'm gonna use the silver only as to show you the last row, okay? So now we take, Oop, sorry, two beads and put them in the next one, like so. Okay. And again, take two, turn it around, and go in the next one. Now, if you make the four beads at the beginning, if you um, make the knots very, very strong, then it's not going to sit properly. I'm sorry for the bad video. But this is in a rush, okay? Again, you take two more and you go into your next bead. Okay, which is this one. Okay. And now the last one. This is technically to show you in the last one do not forget okay when you go you don't always you don't go only through the first one but you also step up okay so this oh this is how your first row should look like more or less okay so you added two 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 and two okay and this, 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 and these were your first four. You can tighten them up real uh, strong or you can let them a little bit loose like this. I'm making it now like a little bit looser so you can see it better on the video. Now that you should be this loose, tighter. Okay, next. Okay. I say a lot of okay. <laughs> so bear with me. Now, you got to take. First, we take two. Okay, and we go into the first one. Okay, 
cell here. Whenever you put the beads on, make sure you look, you arrange them. This is just to make sure that one, your thread is not going all over the place and you haven't noticed. Please, it happened to me so many times. I don't even remember. Okay. Next, you take one bead and you see here, up, the first one. And you get one okay now again we take two up, and go through this bead okay oh yeah and again make sure they sit properly okay so we just added these this and these two since here you see this is the formation of the beauty so now you take another one bead and you go here and as you can see the thread went everywhere so yep yep yep, yep. I don't know this is as close as I can make it without looking funny and since you're here, again, you need two beads here. So we take two. Where there are two, this is basically the corners, okay? And I think I didn't... Two. Okay. And now we take another, another one. Go up this one. And another two. This is a wrapped square, so okay. And you see, whenever you see that they don't sit properly, fix them. I'm still keeping the tail because it's very hard at the beginning not to keep it. The pieces are way too small in my hands and they always fly off so if I have a little bit of tail I can actually pull on it okay just don't forget don't keep the tail too long afterwards it will be very difficult to cut off so again we're at the last part you see now we take one bead and we go up the two because it's technically stepping up okie dokie <laughs> and pull. Please make sure that all your beads are sitting properly. Okay. I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. Just make sure that they're sitting properly. So now we are basically one, two, three rows because you count the middles. Okay. You count one, two, three. You need to have six. So what do you do now? Make another three. You got the idea, right? Now, since we don't have a pattern, it doesn't matter. But when you do have a pattern, it does matter where you um, fold it, okay? But this time, since it's one color, it doesn't matter. But uh, I usually, in my tutorials, I show you exactly where to fold it to not have any problems. So pretty much at this stage, you can fold it okay so you see that the places where you're using two beads is in the middle it's down here and on the top okay so make three more rows now it's easier if you have it folded than if you have a straight if you have a straight it's gonna be a little bit problem folding it I prefer to fold it from the beginning and hold the tail okay so just add three more rows and I'll be back. Now, like you can see, we had, we've done the fifth row and we're about to do the sixth, okay? And now you see, it's sitting like this. All you have to do is make sure you go all the way around, okay? 
not just in one place but all the way so again at the top we have two which is our herringbone okay and then one just keep it like this okay And again okay all right and now I've done one part of our of half of it now since I'm here I'm adding again to 11 O's Delica I've never tried, I don't know if you can, but you should definitely try and make it with round beads. I don't know how it's going to look, but maybe it's going to look okay. Just that delicas are more meant for perfect structures like this. And now you're going to keep on adding. Again, we add another one. Okay. I hope hope the video is good really 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 hope okay and this is our top okay and yes my needle picked up two beads oh god I love when that happens okay and here you have again two and you just turn it around And you start the second part, the back, the back side or the, okay? So you already have here, sorry, six on this side, two, four, six. And on the other half, you only have two, four, five. You will finish it, okay? And just close all the uh, threads. On this one, just close everything, okay? Take your tail off and take the um, working thread out and make one more piece, just like this, with six. But don't cut your uh, wor uh, working thread. Just cut the tail if you can. But the working thread, keep it um, a little bit longer, okay? I usually cut almost, I don't know, 40, 50 centimeters, almost a meter for each uh, piece because I keep using it for the for the next one so right now I have one meter on the thread and it's probably gonna be enough for me to make two um, wrap squares and join them together okay so now I'll take a little pause and I will show you how you connect all of them how you connect after you make the second one we'll come back and we'll learn how to connect them the right way okay okay then okay so as you can see you have two pieces that both have six rows okay this one has six and this one has six now we're gonna add our seventh row let me make this a little bit bigger so it will be a little bit better okay so to add the seven we are here on the top okay and we're gonna add them in silver so you can actually see better sorry now usually on top here we put two this time we're gonna put just one okay like this please don't mind my thread I didn't calculate it and I have too short of a thread and now you're gonna add one okay two third okay we keep adding now here is the bottom okay here is our bottom but since we're not adding an extra row we're just adding something so we can actually connect to our other piece what we do is twist it around and we go up without adding anything okay 
and now again we're going to add the same in this part so oh yeah <clears throat> i'm sorry it's a mess and my voice is not exactly maybe what you expected and the way i talk is not <laughs> proper english but i'm trying my best okay so again we keep adding them okay and here is the top okay like here so again only one 11 -0. one delicate not two okay perfect and now again we keep adding the silver this is just the connecting color. You can make it the same color. You can make it different colors. Just This is just to help you understand how I do most of my stars. Now, this tutorial is valid only for the seven row one. But the idea behind the connection is valid to from seven rows to 30 rows. It doesn't matter. It's the same method, just different numbers of row rows again we are here down okay in the center of the star like this is going to be like this okay so this is the center of the star so we just go through the bead and up sorry wrong color i wanted to make it just two colors so it will be easy i hope i hope i hope i hope i hope you can actually see them pretty well Okay. Make sure that they enter. Okay. And they sit properly. Always look at them because sometimes you would be probably looking at something else and it doesn't sit quite like it should. And the last one, you add and you exit here. Now, the connecting part which is nice please pay attention which direction your thread is coming out of either this side or that side if you're a beginner put everything together okay put them on the mat hold on I'll just move everything and I'll make them a little bit bigger so you can see a little bit better. Oh, this is pretty big, I think. Okay. So your thread is coming out of this part. And you're holding on to the this other part. Okay. So this is basically, this is how it's going to interlock. I have. So the next bead that you get into is the first one on this this is the six row and this is your seven row okay so the first bead is on um, that you get your needle in is going down okay so when you bring them together okay you see they'll sit perfectly and next we go for silver Oop, is this okay again blue silver okay up 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 blue silver blue Silver, blue, silver, blue. Okay, you see how the threads are going? So we went from our silver, we went right, left, right, left, right, left. And now we're exiting 
oh so that is here okay exactly here now th this is how i showed you so you can actually see all the thread how it's going from one part to the other normally you don't have to do it like this you can just make them tight all together but now all i can do all i need to do is pull pretty tight okay so there i have it now and we have just one part we still have this part but you see here we have one bead here sometimes i would like to add in the middle okay i would like to add a crystal in the middle so in order to add the crystal in the middle all you have to do is make sure that you don't add extra beads let me show you since you're coming out of here you bring your needle through this okay whoop sorry yes yeah, so I'll go backwards okay you bring it down like this and pull okay so basically it made those two beads straight making it like a circle in the middle of your star go up this one because you have to continue um, um, connecting okay up and pull okay and now you have them aligned perfectly but you are here you're not here so which is a good thing because and you still have some thread perfectly what you do now is you remember that this bead is also in the center so what you do is go into the bead okay and to not waste the thread you just add your seventh row only on this and this part this part you don't need because it's going to be connected to the other one so we're going to do it like this we're going to add this is just so you don't have to throw the thread and come back and add new thread because it looks okay I think I said okay about a thousand times. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay or not okay. Okay. Maybe I should use another word. So basically where we had this is our this is the part that we added which had only six rows and this is the part that had seven rows, okay? we connected this part but our thread was coming out here so we decided not to throw not to throw our way our thread and not to go just through the beads for the sake of going through them so we just added our seventh row here okay and again on the top you have only one bead please remember this because sometimes you go make it quick to finish it and you can add two I know because I added many times. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, this is right. And again. Nope, I didn't pick one. And again, since we're here in the at the middle of the star, we just are going to go and we're on the other side. We don't need to add anything else. All we do now is connect, right? So, basically to connect here, hey, this, you take your thread and you pull it through the bead, okay? You go through this blue one which is in the other one that we had okay okay you see this is the part where it had seven rows this is the part which it had six we just added these one to make sure that we add uh, to make sure that we don't waste the thread for nothing okay since we came out of this one we went up 
down through the bottom 11-0 delicate, which is this one, okay? Which my thread is coming out of right now. And you pull. Now you go up this one and through the silver one, okay? Like this. You can stop this video many times. And when you pull, pull hard. Okay, and now all you do is connect them like before, blue and silver, blue and silver. I'll show you the top because that part also is important. Okay, and when you pull the beads, okay, this is the top. So you had silver and now you have blue. Okay. Pay attention. Now you take you go through the silver, pull a little bit, and go down this one, which is the identical one of the blue that we just came out of, okay? From the other side. You go down and pull on it. This should center the top bead, okay? Now, you have two pieces which are connected. Next piece that you make is also six rows. Again, okay, you make another one with six rows and I'll be back to connect that one and I'll eventually show you how to connect every uh, piece that is left. So. Let's come back when we have another one with six rows, okay? Okay. This is, I wanted to show, this is a good idea why you take out the um, tail before. Because right now, you see, my tail's stuck in the side. It won't be a problem, but it's not always pleasant. It's just wanted to show you when you finish with a piece, cut the tail off, and then continue. You don't cut it. It can be stuck in the middle of the um, star. So let's make our sixth piece. So now we are back with our third piece. Okay, so we still have six rows. Okay, you count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Okay. And again, if you didn't understand how I did it before, I'll show you again. Now, you can choose which part you want. It doesn't matter because you still have seven row on this one and on this one. Just remember, these ones are without pattern. Once there is pattern, it's a little different, okay? So, since the thread is coming from this side, okay, makes, it's going to be like this. Okay, how am I going to put it so you can actually see it better? Okay. Our thread is coming from which? From this bead, okay? Beep, beep, over here. Now you have to go through the center, through the center bead, the top bead, sorry, sorry. This is the top bead, okay? I put a little bit of long thread this time so I can actually have enough for all the uh, remaining pieces. Okay, and now you're going down this blue one, okay? You see how it goes? And again, since we're coming from this bead, we need to have the thread go into this one. Now I'll show you. If, for instance, okay, if the if we are not exactly careful, we can't put here for an, if since this is coming from this side, okay, we can't go in this direction. We need to go in the other direction because we're trying to pull, okay. This 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 bead. Oh my God! Oh, hold on. 
this one to be in the center, okay? So you see, sorry, there's a lot of thread here. This, and now down the blue. And once I'll stop a little bit closer, Do you understand? I hope you understand now how it's done. So, once you put, pull, pull, sorry, pull, you will have to connect. This is a phone camera and this was meant for one person, but apparently, so you put it here. You put, okay, so we went from the blue on the back side through the silver through the blue here, okay? Because if you didn't remember, I'll pull it apart again and you will see it, okay? And now your next bead will be the silver one here. Wait, 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 okay? And now you just connect them until you get to this part. Okay, let me show you. And yes, I think if we count how many times I said, okay, I'm maybe reaching 1,000 or more. I don't know. I'm trying not to curse. Because I haven't done a video in such a long time. And this was meant to be assisting someone who bought a pattern for me and was having a little bit of a trouble but I decided to make it for everyone so whenever anybody needs to know how to do my star how to do the patterns of my stars they'll have an easier time figuring out how to connect all the pieces without going crazy <laughs> okay so and now you're going through the blue Right? Great. And now, you're going back through this blue. Okay, the one from the opposite side. Yeah, not from this one. I'll check out the loop. Okay. Pull up the blue that we came, we started from. Pull tight, okay? So you see that your beads here are straightening up, giving you at the end space, sufficient space to add that crystal, whatever you wanna add in the center, okay? Okay, so next, like we learned before. And yes, another misplaced thread. We go up the center like this. And then again, we make the seven row on this one. I'll try not to move. I'm so used to moving a lot once I bead. This is completely foreign to me, Sit. being still. Almost still, almost still. Again, make sure you pull the threads correctly. Oh, 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 oh. It happens a lot. why it's important because once you go through everything there's no possible you have no possibility of coming back and fixing there's no fixing this is a one-time deal okay so and the reason i make one uh one part and i connect them because it's easier uh, unless you like adding and putting thread all the time i don't like that i just did it, it kind of drives me crazy to do that all the time so I kind of figured, why not save up time? I'm all about, you know, cutting corners to make my life a little bit easier. Okay, so don't forget, on the top here, again, this is going to be a peak, a star peak. So we have one bead. Okay, don't forget that part. When you make these things, don't rush. Okay, take your time. Don't do it when there's a lot of people hovering over you or trying to drive you crazy to do all sorts of other things. Just... 
let it be because once you connected all the parts and you figured that you made a mistake and you added a, a different bead or something like that there's no there's no <laughs> chance of going back and fixing it that much hope okay and I always make sure that the thread is okay and it doesn't get stuck on one of the beads oh that's the worst Oof, that's really bad and now again here is the center okay because this is how it is this is the center of our bead so what did we learn we go up this part the next uh, 11 oh okay and now we are going down the blue from the other part from the part we're trying to connect to okay then you go up this and your silver at the same time if you go up these two at the same time it will really be it will really help you not to um, lose track how to add them how to make the zigzag happen this is what I figured. Okay, so now you pull tight and you see your beads are straightening up and you have this circle. You can leave it open, it's up to you. And now again, we go and we connect to the top. You connect until the top and again, you cut your thread and you make a new piece. And that will be your fourth piece. I usually add the pearl when I'm at the fifth part, not before, because it's just hard to maneuver around it. Let's put it like this. Really hard. So if you can, if you understood this part, how to connect three, you'll understand how to connect the other ones as well. It's just it's the same thing. You always okay. And now you have to go through this blue, okay? It doesn't want to be helpful. Okay, this blue down the silver. You see, once you go in the correct direction of the silver of the top bead, it always is going to look perfect it's always it is always going to sit proper and not crooked okay you see if you add now there's my pearl oh here it is if you add it now it's really not going to be comfortable to work even in the fourth part but you see you have here all the space you can leave leave it and make sure you see the pearl but be careful because sometimes you can see the whole of the pearl not the pearl Okay, so right now we have one, two, and three pieces. Let's make the fourth one and connect it, okay? Okay. What I meant to say is make another piece, another wrap square, six rows, and we'll connect that one too. So you'll see each one that I connect, so you won't have any problems. Remember, this is valid to any number of rows. Maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I don't know, thirty. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be the same. I'm always going to make one piece, two pieces, connect them, and then always add another one and connect, another one and connect. I never make all of them at once and just figure them afterwards. No. I just use the thread and make sure they're always connected. Some of them will have patterns. More simple than others or more complicated. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you do it in the correct order. Sometimes the differences between the parts can be very small and you didn't notice and you didn't put them correctly on your mat and then you look at the final star and you're like, wait, shouldn't it have been a different way? And that would have been, and it would be too late. So just, I think this is the safest way to do them. I've seen people do it, uh, uh, do them in different ways. I think this is the simplest. You never make a mistake. You always have beads 
that already are here, all you do is connect. All you do is connect. That's it. Alrighty. So now, since we have, I all I have to do is tie the uh, tie this thread, cut it, and make my fourth part. Okay. And again, you see mistake. It's in the middle, but this is for experiments purpose only so you don't have to <laughs> worry just put it around your house when you make it uh, once you make them for um, to give to someone or I don't know selling them make sure they look okay all right so this is just so we can know how to connect all the parts so let's take a, a few minutes break make the sixth uh, the fourth piece six rows like before and we'll add them okay we'll be back okay so now we're back with the fourth piece okay just um i don't have an explanation i go i i prefer working forward and not backwards so i don't know how to do like this i just need to know <laughs> go forward so this is why i keep uh, turning everything around okay so Again, this is our fourth piece, and the thread is coming from this bead, okay? So, we pick up, pick up, sorry, our star, and again, we go through the silver one, on the side, which is more comfortable, okay? And down the blue, on the side, which is the... Alright, it's like, you see them? And now we like before go down the silver and then the blue I'm sorry and again silver and blue just a little couple of things number one this is not for somebody who begins to start beating definitely not you need to know a lot some things before you even get to start on one of these you need to know how to uh, close pieces how to make peyote how to make herringbone how to how to make those uh, the pieces of the the wrap squares keep growing because the videos and my tutorials do not explain this I just tell you the pattern and how to close them up but the video I think is a little bit more comprehensive so you're down to the silver one okay you go through this blue okay and pull yes when you do this make sure you pull if you decided to make the zigzag bigger make sure you pull on them and they all look like they are one big piece not just loose thread now go to the right go down okay so this is how it is and now we go up sorry that And pull and you've gotten your these two beads straightened out okay like the rest of them you see they come down together now we are moving on to adding the seventh row we go up <laughs> going through the seven through going through the blue bead up oh yeah 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 some it get, I like it when they get stuck on other objects on your beading mat. Oh, that's just great. And again, we're adding one silver. You keep adding the silver. And I'm going to show you how to add. Maybe you didn't get it the first few times. Maybe the third and fourth time will be a little bit better. Okay. And don't forget, on the top, just one bead, and we move to the other, to the back, it's back front. I don't know. Right now, the star has no front and no back. 
And again, and this is the center of the star, so we just go like through this bead, okay? And now when we connect, remember, you go through the blue, which is here. Oh, yeah. Okay, through the blue on this part, okay? You go down. Okay. Up this one and your silver one at the same time okay and now pull okay quick note whenever you're pulling on something hold it don't just pull away like that okay just pull and hold and now we continue to close like before okay so we have I do I told you before I make sure I go through the silver so I won't be confused by the way the beads are sitting oh goodness oh wow no that was a container with about six uh, different color no four different colors of beads if they were open like they usually are that would have been a mess okay so you go silver blue silver blue silver blue silver okay and the top blue on this part okay okay and now just pull Alrighty. and now you see they're all sitting perfectly then we go through our top bead and go down to this one which was the connect which was the same one as the front Okay, on the same side, not opposite. <clears throat> now, again, close your... Take a cut a thread and make another one. Again, only with six, six rows because, you see, you have seventh row here and seventh row here. All we do is add and connect. You can technically add this, but I add it just before I add the third, uh, the, the fifth piece, okay? So, let's do our fifth and last piece. And we are back, and now we have our last and fifth piece to put inside. I haven't talked so much on camera, I think, in years. <laughs> but okay. Again, we take the big piece and the small piece. And we see where is this coming from this is coming our thread is coming from this bead you know okay on the right then we connect go like this through the top bead and through the blue one here yeah nothing up oh, yep. okay you see it now great now let's connect until we are on the bottom okay so silver blue if you can you can do two beads at a time i don't always prefer to do it because i popped more than i can actually remember so i'm sticking to one bead at a time okay so Again, silver, then blue. 
for those of you who already know how to make this this is part is really boring I don't know how you can fast forward it oh okay and here we have <clears throat> and here we have okay the silver one now we're going to go through the blue one here okay through the blue one on this side because we want it straight also okay like this and now up this and this part is settled since you already have the seventh row here you don't need to add you just keep on connecting okay so we go up the first blue that is down here okay down this blue which is on the part which has the seven rows Okay. This will not look okay until I'm gonna fix it. Okay, now you see. And up this blue. And up this silver in the f here. Okay. So basically, oh yeah. Nothing's okay. Look, it just untangled itself. Okay, so pull and you're gonna be left only with this piece. But this, why I suggest you do it without putting the pearl inside because it's gonna be difficult to make. All these little connections but once you reach here you can actually insert the pearl and I'll show you how okay so now again blue and silver wow I think I say blue and silver as much as I say okay <laughs> okay I <laughs> know uh, not funny okay so we're halfway there open this part up and insert your pearl okay just give it a little nudge that's what I like to call it I don't know and now again here where blue silver blue Silver, blue, okay, this is the top already, okay, this is the last part, pay really close attention, this is the blue, okay, now we are going to go through the silver, and this blue here, we'll just align them a little bit, okay, Because they're getting a little bit out of order and everything. And then silver. Blue. Okay. You see? Silver. Blue. Again. Silver. blue if you want you can oh sorry you can practice making this a couple once or twice until you get the idea before you make the ones with the colors because the end is a little bit confusing and gives you the um, 
feeling like it's one side is higher than the other. It's not. It's really not. It just moves a little bit. That's it. And now the silver here. Okay. And now again, our blue one, which is on this side. Okay. And now come down on this blue. Ready? And up on this blue. Okay. Hold on, maybe. And now we go up first bead and we go down on the blue. Up on the blue. You see? And up through the silver. And the next is our blue. And again, silver. Like I said, you can do this two at a time, but I'm showing a video for people who might want to do it just one at a time to make sure. So let's go slow. And again, silver and blue. Silver and blue. Silver. And now you need this blue here on the left, okay? Okay, you see that the last one is not aligned correctly. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put it through and pull. And it brings it to the center. And now down here. Okay, and you keep going now. As you can see, your little star is finished. All you have to do is close the thread. Now, if you have any intentions of adding other beads or adding maybe something that will, um, I don't know, it will hang, it just don't cut the thread yet. Add it now. Okay? For instance, I'm thinking this is a nice one. I'll, maybe I'll put this one in my car. Because it looks real nice. I see. Oop, I made a mistake already. Okay. But take now you are done. Now depends what you want to do. This is why it's always good to have a little bit of a longer thread. Don't cut them too short because then right now if you want to add thread to this, this is almost impossible. Okay? This is pretty strong and all these have a lot of tension on them and seriously seriously this is it, it could snap at any minute so this is our beautiful little star what I'm gonna do now is get it here get to the top bead because like I told you I'm putting it in my car an ornament I don't know, grab some, I have no idea how many I grabbed here, but you can see. Okay, I think about 10 or 50. And I'm going to come from the opposite side, okay, making a little loop. Okay, you make a little loop and you can put anything you want through it. I have, uh, I bought from the... Now you can go a few times on this. I buy a lot from AliExpress, a lot of things. Maybe if I will start doing more videos, I'll show you exactly all the stuff that I buy and things that help me out. 
Now you have to go through this a couple of times to make sure that it stays like a good loop. Okay, don't worry if it's like this. It's going to sit perfectly. And now you can put in the middle what you want. You want to put a crystal. You want to put pff, whatever. You have the possibility, okay? You can put a 3 millimeter crystal here that will look just gorgeous. So all is left is to close it, tie it, and you're done. So this is how you do the star, okay? Just pay attention to all the steps when you make them. Please don't rush them. And this is going to be the longest hour of your life <laughs> once you're going to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed If you have, subscribed to my channel. I will come back with other ones, other videos. Uh, my next one is going to be about, right now, it's going to be about the wrap square. Because I don't think everybody understands exactly how to make this, these uh, little beauties. The wrap square itself. Okay? So, enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye.